Welcome to another great read aloud. Enjoy the story and be sure to subscribe for more great read alouds. The Library Dragon by Carmen Didi. Illustrated by Michael White. Sunrise Elementary School had a big problem. The new librarian, Miss Lotta Scales, was a real dragon. Miss Lotta Scales was hired to guide the library, and she took her job seriously. Hundreds of new, clean books replaced the old, smudged ones. The shining gems neatly lined the shelves of her library lair in perfect order. No 398.2s in the 500s, and absolutely no fiction among the biographies. She kept a fiery eye out to make sure no one removed any books from the shelves. Her motto was, a place for everything, and that's where it stays. The very thought of sticky little fingers touching and clutching, pawing and clawing, smearing and tearing her precious books just made her hot under the collar. Miss Scales thought that the way some books spread an unfound fear of dragons was positively inflammatory. Books that depict cruelty to dragons should never have been published in the first place. She got so fired up about this, she didn't just discard the books she didn't like, she incinerated them. The kids watched in awe. Well, that settles it, whispered Albert Hoops. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And that Miss Scales is a real dragon, all right. Not surprisingly, the kids at Sunrise Elementary School began to dread Library Day. It wasn't long before the teachers stopped sending the children to the library. They kept coming back singed. First, the principal tried to reason with Miss Scales, but his plan backfired. Instead of cooling her down, he just fanned the flames. And finally, don't forget who does the hiring, Miss Scales, sputtered the principal. Oh, really? And who does the firing? asked Miss Scales with a glare and a flare that caught his tie on fire. Now cut that out, said the principal, as he waved the smoke out of his face. No smoking in the library, Miss Lotta Scales said dryly. The principal fumed. The teachers were incensed. Worst of all, the children had missed reading and story time for weeks, and their grades were going up in smoke. So the teachers formed a delegation, and after a trip to the cafeteria kitchen to fortify themselves, they paid a visit to Miss Scales. Miss Lotta Scales smoldered as she listened to sweet Miss Lemon, the kindergarten teacher. And most importantly, Miss Scales, dear, the children miss story time. Story time, shmory time, blew Miss Lotta Scales. Why, if I let children touch these books with their gooey fingers and snotty noses, this library wouldn't last a week. And she stared so furiously at the teachers that they threw down their weapons and clanged out. All except sweet Miss Lemon. You know, Miss Scales, we all love the books as much as you do, but the library belongs to the children. Good night, Miss Lemon. You slay me, cracked Miss Scales. Why, the idea of story time is simply medieval. As usual, the dragon had the last word. That Miss Lemon is a real spitfire, chuckled Miss Scales. But she had spewed so much smoke and fire at sweet Miss Lemon that she had to lie down for a nap. She was really dragon. In fact, she was burned out. Being a library dragon can be such a lonely job, she mumbled sadly to herself as she heaved a mighty sigh and closed her scaly lids. It was at that very moment that Molly Brickmeyer accidentally wandered into the library. Molly was on a quest. She had lost her glasses and couldn't see a thing without them unless it was right under her nose. She stumbled into a bookshelf and a book fell into her lap. She never saw the sign that read, Do not touch the books for display only. It was over her head. So she held this one right under her nose and began to read out loud. First, a class of second graders in line for the water fountain heard her and tiptoed in to listen. Then the fourth graders outside playing kickball heard a story being read and crowded around the windows. Speak up, someone yelled. Ms. Molly Brickmeyer spoke up. Word of story time in the library spread like wildfire at Sunrise Elementary School. Everyone was listening, even the library dragon and her ears were burning. Slowly, Miss Lotta Scales rose up from behind a bookshelf and looked at the boys and girls huddled around Molly. She'd never seen anything quite like it. The children looked like they belonged here. I love you, Snuff, Molly read on as the children listened. Give me that book, Molly Brickmeyer, roared Miss Scales. Molly held the book cheerfully toward the scaly blur. Miss Lotta Scales took the book and eyed it suspiciously as it hung from her claw. First, she sniffed it. Then she checked the spine for cracks. Then she checked each page for stains and smudges. Finally, Miss Scales looked around at the children and cleared the smoke from her throat. Now, where were we? 
Why, yes. I love you, Snuff. At first, the children were too nervous to listen, but when Molly Brickmeyer climbed up onto Miss Lotta Scale's lap and didn't get scorched, they relaxed. You're warm, whispered Molly. Don't interrupt, Miss Scales crackled. Everyone was listening so intently that they almost missed it. As she read, Miss Lotta Scales' scales began to fall on the linoleum floor with a clickety-clack, 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 until all that was left was Miss Lottie, librarian and storyteller, sitting on a mountain of yellow, green, and purple scales with Molly Brickmeyer, dragon slayer extraordinaire, on her lap. The rest of the children warmed up to Miss Lottie right away. The changes in Miss Lottie's new kid-friendly library were hard to miss. Not surprisingly, the kids at Sunrise Elementary School began to love Library Day. Miss Lottie's transformation, however, was not complete. But then every librarian needs to be a little bit of dragon, or else who would guard the books?